Simicon Evolution 2017 in Berlin. I'm here with Alexander Jung from Deutsche Telekom AG. Nice to have you here. Thanks for your time. Well, thanks. And It's a pleasure for me to be here. Yeah, that's great. You're one of our two conference chairs right. um, this year. And yeah, Alexander, I would like to introduce yourself briefly and uh, tell us about your position at Deutsche Telekom. Thanks very much. Yeah, it's not my first time here, so I've been at this conference before because I think it's one of the most valuable conferences about competitive intelligence. Uh, my name is Alexander Jung. I come from corporate strategy of Deutsche Telekom AG. So um, it's a department right underneath the CEO, which deals with um, corporate strategy and has a CI role within that organization. So we do competitive intelligence at the corporate level. Mm. And in that, we have a team, and this is called Ecosystem and Technology Intelligence. So what we are focusing on is technology, because that's a really crucial part for our company, and ecosystem. So we're not just looking at the telecommunications market, but all the surrounding markets that have an effect on the telecommunications market. And uh, what role does uh, CI play in your company and how is it organized? Well, at the corporate level, looking at corporate strategy, of course we advise the top management team. And then there's also CI units within each segment of the organization. And then we build a network so that we have a sort of coordination role among the segments and of course knowledge sharing, that's also very important. Uh, what would you say, how can CI um, effectively add value to, to a business and uh, do you have an example from your company? Well, the primary role of CI is to provide the organization with information and then intelligence. And the best way is to give advice and to influence actions of the company. Now, when you look at competitive intelligence at the corporate level, then of course you give advice to the top executives of the company and give suggestions on uh, key decisions for the future. Uh, in the age of digitization, how can CI compete with completely changing landscapes? Well, digitization is a crucial mega trend, I would say, for competitive intelligence. And that is true for almost every industry, because digitization will change every aspect of a company and its operations. So CI can give a guideline how the trend of digitization can really affect a company and its operations. And in your opinion, what are the main challenges in competitive and market, in, uh, market intelligence uh, that companies generally have to face? Well, I have more than 15 years of experience in competitive intelligence and the role of CI has changed over time dramatically. In the beginning, there was a scarcity of resources and information. And now, information is everywhere. There's an oversupply of information. And now it is the role of CI to make this uh, information applicable to decisions, to decision processes, and to find the most important intelligence that is relevant. Another aspect is that in the past, I would say CI, or the CI analyst, was sort of the king of information. He sat on the data. Whereas nowadays, the CI professional is the one who makes intelligence available to everyone in the organization, and you go more into a self-serving approach. So, for example, you can implement a portal where all the employees that need information can access that information directly. Okay. And on Sunday, you've moderated an icebreaker session. What was it about? What did you discuss with your peers? Yeah. It is about the role of CI, looking into the past or looking into the future. And the result was it that when you start a CI role within a company, you try to organize the data that is available. So you look into history, maybe the last quarterly results that are in the market, or you look at the current situation. And once you have familiarized yourself with uh, that data, 
then you start to look into the future. Then you make forecasts um, and even make trend analysis to see what the future is like. Okay, and did you have some new insights from your peers? Yes, we, indeed we did have. So um, we said that one cannot live with the others. The past is as important as the future is. And what we came up with is that looking at the past, you always act reactive, right? Because you react to a market situation or a competitor's move. Whereas when you look into the future, you are the front runner. You become more proactive. And this is how you can guide the top management of your company. All right. Alexander, you've been one of our jury members uh, for this year's Simicon Award, which was celebrated yesterday evening. How did you like the ceremony and um, what did you think about the projects that were presented? Well, as a jury member, um, I had the task to select um, the three top runners and there were some really interesting applications, so I liked all, all applications that were delivered. And um, I'm particularly happy about what the audience chose as the top runner, as number one. Um, what was very interesting in the approach the company Lemo took was is that it involved all people within the organization and that supports what I just said is that uh, CI becomes very cooperative within an organization. So within open innovation you involve various stakeholders within the organization because it is really incredible how much knowledge about the market and competitors you already have within your organization that you don't really have to pay for. You only have to find an approach to motivate people to share this knowledge and bring it all together and then you have a very good overview of the market. Mm -hmm. Last but not least, um, which expectations did you bring to the conference? What I said yesterday is there's two parts to this conference. One part is what you've paid for. And those are excellent presentations that cover various aspects of uh, competitive intelligence. And the other part, you don't really pay for, uh, and you're responsible for yourself. And this is the networking. Getting in touch with other CI professionals, sharing knowledge, sharing maybe your issues that you have, and see how they would respond in that situation and listen to the challenges that others are facing and maybe giving some advice. So all this makes a very interactive environment during the coffee breaks, uh, during the dinner sessions, whatever. All right. So, Alexander, thank you very much for your time, for the interesting insights, and I hope you're going to enjoy the rest of the conference and the conversations. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.